today I have my second ever empties video. I am leaving in like a week for a six month trip which I won't be home for six months and I will be on the road. So I thought it was time for me to go through my empties and get rid of them before I leave for this trip. But I thought I would show you these empties first. So the first one I have here is a Philosophy Shower Gel. This is the Melon Daiquiri flavor. This is the one that's the shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. I have quite a few of these. I think they're okay. I think they get my body clean without being overly drying. I don't like it when they're overly oily for body washes. I mean, I probably would never purchase the Philosophy ones after I've used a couple of them now. I have a couple left from like holiday sets and that kind of thing, but I really just, the Philosophy ones, I've decided that I don't love them and why am I paying $20 for a body wash when I can get one at the drugstore that I like better. I have a dry shampoo. This is the Kenra Platinum. Um, dry shampoo um, doesn't say anything else but dry shampoo I didn't really like this I like the Baptiste dry shampoo this was $20 as well on the Baptiste you can usually find on sale for anywhere from five to seven dollars so overall I probably wouldn't purchase this I felt like it left my hair really really white and I didn't like that and I mean it did last me a long time but I just I wasn't a fan of this I have a Bath and Body Works hand soap this is the winter candy apple I think I featured this in my last video or I talked about it at least this is my favorite flavor from Bath and Body Works. I always stock up at Christmas time and get some of these soaps. This is their old packaging. I still have a number of these but I just really enjoy the Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I have a few hair care products. The first one is this Bonacure Hair Therapy Moisture Kick. This is like a weird foamy hair mask. Like it literally came out like shaving gel, but it was for your hair. I didn't like this at all. I pretty much just used it up to use it up. I would mix it in with a little bit of other conditioner because I really didn't like it. I felt like it made my hair feel really oily without hydrating at all. It's supposed to be um, like a foam, so it's good for like finer hair, but I just really didn't like it. I didn't feel like it did anything for my hair and it just really just weighed it down. I have the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. This is the older packaging. I found this like in the back of my sink and it pretty much had nothing left so I thought it was time for me to get rid of it. I really like this before when I was using it. It's really good if you've just dyed your hair blonde or you have a lot of breakage in your hair because it helps repair it. I wouldn't use it that often though because it can be, it can have that reverse effect to your hair but overall I really liked it. I do have another bottle that I'm working through trying to get rid of it. I don't know if I would necessarily purchase it right away because I don't have like like that much of breaking hair and I haven't dyed my hair blonde in a while but if I ever did dye my hair blonde again or re-highlight it I probably would purchase this because I did like it when I used it but I just don't feel like my hair needs it anymore. I also have a really old shampoo that I found it under my sink way in the back similar to the other one. This one is like the Fido brand. This is a fortifying shampoo. I have no idea how to say this so I won't say it but I will put it in the description bar below. This is supposed to be like a fortifying shampoo so it adds density to your hair. I originally bought this like way back in the day. Like this is really old. Um, when Buy Now Blog Later or Lollipop 26, she talked about this because it helped her hair from falling out. And not that I feel like I have hair that falls out, but when I brush my hair, I have a lot of hair that falls out just because it's so long and it's definitely noticeable. So when uh, she talked about it, I purchased it. I never felt like it really helped with that. You're supposed to like put it in your hair and let it sit on it for two minutes. I, I'm not sure really like what it's supposed to do, but it, it, she said it helped her hair. I didn't feel like it really helped mine. I probably wouldn't purchase this again. You can get it at Sephora though. I have three hand sanitizers. I had like three of them going at once, so I figured it was time for me to finish them all up. And then this one went like really watery and really weird. It like solidified and watered down at the same time. It's weird. This is, they're all from Bath and Body Works. This is the Twilight Woods, which is an okay scent. I don't mind it. I would probably purchase it again. We have the Yuletide Pear and Vanilla. This is really old. This is one of the like Christmas scents many, many years ago. I've had it for a while and it was kind of just like it's running low and I just figured it was time to get rid of it because it's old. And then I have one of my favorites, which is the Honey Pretzel one. I put this one in my What's in My Purse video when I first started my channel. And I do really enjoy this. I have a couple other ones of this and I just really like the scent. It is really strong and really sweet though. I have a number of hand creams. The first one is another one of this hand food by Soap and Glory. This one's called Great Shakes, but it's pretty much just the same thing as the hand food. It's a hydrating hand cream. As I said in the last empties video where I had one of these, I'm kind of sick of the scent. 
I think that it hydrates really nicely. It sinks in really nicely. So I like those aspects, but I'm really just over the scent. So I was trying to use it up. I was using it sort of like a body cream slash like a foot cream as well while trying to use it up as a hand cream because I was just really over it. I mean, maybe eventually in the future I would repurchase, but right now I'm just over the scent. Although I do really like Slope and Glory. Another hand cream that I have is, this isn't old as well. The, the, I'm trying to get rid of all my old stuff. This is cake. This is like the strawberry shortcake decadent hand cream. This was like only available in Canada. You could buy it at Sephora. It was like $20. Pretty much smelled identical to the strawberry shortcake dolls. If you ever know, if you've ever had one, then you know exactly what this smell like. I like the cake hand cream. It's gone off now, so it smells sort of plasticky. I'm just throwing it out because it's old, but I did really like it at the time. I wish I would have used it up. I'm more of like the type of person that if I really like something, I like to hold on to it, but I really just need to learn how to get rid of it. And then I have three of these little tiny avo juices. This is like the OPI lotion. These are all old packaging as well. Again, these were like almost all used and I just figured it was time to get rid of it. I have jasmine, two jasmine and a crisp apple juice. I'm not a fan of these anymore. I like them at the time, but not anymore. I'm just happy to get rid of them. I had a sample. I kept the container, but I have the little outside to throw out. This is the Basha cleansing oil. I got it from Sephora in one of my purchases. I thought this was okay. There's a lot of hype around this cleansing oil and I didn't feel like it was as good as everybody depicts it to be. I felt like there was cleansing oils that are way better on the market and this just wasn't one of my favorites. It was nice. It removed my makeup, but I feel like there's definitely better ones. I have two body lotions. The first one is an old Victoria's Secret love spell. Again, this is their old packaging. There is some left, but it's just time to get rid of it and time to move on. This scent was like, I love this scent in high school, but I think it's just really annoying now and it just reminds me of high school and it's just not one of my favorite scents. But I do like the Victoria's Secret lotions. I don't know if I would ever repurchase them because I have found drugstore lotions that I like just as much and they're less expensive, but I thought it was good. And then I have the Jergens Original Scent. This is like that cherry almond scent that just reminds me of like my grandma or like just like just reminds me of my childhood or something like that. I do really like this lotion. I think it's really nice and light. It's not overly fragranced. I usually use it all over my body after a shower and it's just really nice. I really like this lotion. I probably would continue to purchase this or the St. Ives lotion, which I really like as well, which I think I talked about in my last empties video, but I just really like it. I thought it was a nice lotion. I have another cleansing oil. This is the Garnier Nourishing Cleansing Oil. I liked this. I felt like it was better than the Basha one, which I had a sample of from Sephora. The only thing I hated about this was the packaging leaked all the time. You can see that the labels are coming off and it just leaked all the time, which I didn't like, but I thought it was a good cleansing oil. I feel like there's definitely better cleansing oils out there. This one left a slight residue on my face, which I didn't enjoy, but I do usually cleanse after a cleansing oil anyways, so it wasn't that big of a big deal to me, but I just, I think that they're better. I probably would not repurchase this, but I did like it. I have one sample. This is the Garnier Miracle Skin Perfector. This is the daily all-in-one BB cream. I really, really like this. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did, and I liked it so much I went and bought the full size. I thought it was really nice. It's nice for just like a day wear. It has SPF in it, I believe. Yeah, I think it does have SPF and it's just nice. It evened out my skin tone. It was slightly darker for me, but I kind of like that because it made me look a little bit more tanned, but it wasn't like too dark where it didn't match my neck or anything like that. I just, I really enjoyed this. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. This dried up. I don't feel like I ever really decided if I liked it. I probably would not purchase it. I'm interested to try that. I think there's a different Smashbox one that I'm interested to try. I think a young wild and polish, she talks about it. I thought it was okay. I probably, I have way too many of these like primer, lid primer samples to purchase this one and I didn't love it or remember loving it at all. So yeah, nah. I have two mascaras. I have a CoverGirl Flamed Out. I originally didn't really like this, but I do like it as more of like a layering mascara so if I put more of like a defining mascara on first and then top it with this it was really nice and volumizing I didn't necessarily love it on its own because it has a little bit of a thicker brush and I didn't love it it didn't get down to the base of my lashes and I prefer a mascara that can get down to my base so that's why I kind of like to layer my mascaras I also have a bourgeois mascara this is the volume glamour max this one had like the most massive brush of life it was huge I did not like this I more just used it as a topper again to add a little bit more volume to my lashes because it was the brush was just too huge to use on its own and I didn't really like the effect it gave. I got this like in a set and I would not purchase it on its own. I would not recommend it. And then I have one clear brow gel. This is like a clear
Clear Mascara that I featured before that you can get from Daiso, which is like a local Asian $2 store. Not local, I think they have Daisos all over North America, but I got this one at my local one. And this has gone like a weird funky color because of like the pencil I use in my brows first and then it kind of picks up and goes back in here. And I just can't get any more product out and it's gone weird. So I've just changed it out and got a new one. I love these because they are only $2 and they're not overly strong. So they don't make my brows look crunchy and they don't like, I don't know, I just don't like it when my brows can look crunchy and this is really nice and soft. So that was everything for my empties video for today. If you've tried any of these and have any similar thoughts or different thoughts than I have, definitely let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe so you can see all my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned.